So this is the Applied Materials uh, 1600B tool. Uh, it's a PECVD cluster tool, uh, originally used for flat panel display and more recently used for solar cell manufacturing and R&D. Uh, the tool is basically a, a PECVD cluster tool made by Applied Materials. Um, so it has four chambers, four deposition chambers, one transfer chamber, two load locks, a heat chamber, and all the remotes and the pump and the scrubbers to actually make it a complete system. Um, uh, as we move further, uh, the, the form factor of this tool is uh, 37 by 47 centimeters. Um, yeah, uh, it's mainly used uh, for glass as a carrier, but you can use uh, wafers or other smaller substrate on the glass as a carrier. So the load lock, there are two load locks here. Um, and these load locks have 11 cassettes in each. So in theory, you could actually load 22 samples at once and start the recipes and just let it go and it'll give you uh, a finished output in about a few hours. So we use that routinely as an automatic uh, R&D tool which will do the deposition for you. Uh, the four process chambers uh, were used for deposition of uh, amorphous silicon, silicon nitride, silicon oxide, uh, uh, silicon carbide, anything which requires silane gas. Some of the typical gases we use were silane, uh, hydrogen, phosphine, diborane, TMB, uh, ammonia, uh, N2O, among others. Uh, so each, uh, this, is, this is basically how one chamber looks like. Uh, each chamber has uh, a chamber, the, the, the pumps are at the back, it has a turbo pump if you need it. Uh, it has all the remotes, it has a heater which goes up to 400 degrees centigrade. Um, the base pressure of these systems, uh, we typically operate under one millitor but there's a turbo to make it uh, 1E minus 5 tor if need be. Um, and uh, uh, let's see, there's a transfer chamber. So the, the glass comes from the load lock, goes into the transfer chamber, uh, and then goes into the chamber for deposition. And uh, it has a pretty uh, sophisticated automation system in which it will go from the load lock to transfer chamber A, and then you can program it to go to any other chamber, or go to the heat chamber, or go to the load lock. So it's a very sophisticated automatic system. It's ideal for R&D purposes, for prototyping work, and for uh, also for pilot or full-scale manufacturing. This used to be a full-scale manufacturing tool uh, used in flat panel displays, and now it's uh, used for solar R&D. These are rows of gases for each chamber. So each chamber can have about eight to 10 gases. Um, and these are all the NFCs for each chamber. Um, so chamber A, B, C, and D. So that's the row of gases for everything. Um, we'll go back and quickly look at the software. Uh, this is how basically the software looks like uh, where, where the screen for chamber A you can see uh, you can it has an elevator which basically moves the susceptor the sample can you can adjust the gap of the sample between the RF electrode and the, the susceptor um, you have the RF match where you can actually manually set match conditions if you want uh, or you can do it automatically uh, you have the you have the heater where you can control the temperature. You have the power supply where you can actually give power values. Um, the walls of this uh, of all the chambers are heated to ADC to prevent any condensation. So there's a heat exchanger along. We'll show you later, which can actually um, set the temperature of the chambers. Uh, then of course you have a pressure controller. You have a throttle valve, which you can basically adjust uh, all the way up to 10 tors of process pressure even more if you want it. So uh, this, this, this uh, software basically gives you an idea of how each chamber looks like. And then if you go to the gas panel, 
you can see that each uh, chamber has different gases. So for example, in this chamber we use hydrogen, silane, nitrogen, nitrous oxide, argon, and NF3. One important thing is that uh, this chamber, uh, this tool has um, self-cleaning with NF3. So, uh, you know, any deposition you have, you want to clean it, you don't have to open the chamber manually, you can just use NF3 uh, and light the plasma and it'll clean the chamber. So that's the great thing about these PCBD tools, that you can use NF3 self-cleaning. Um, so these are the four chambers, I'm in chamber A, chamber B, chamber C, and chamber D. So at this company, we used to use each chamber for dedicated use. Uh, you can use it as you want. Uh, we used to do intrinsic amorphous films in one chamber and doped films in some other chambers. Um, then you have a transfer chamber where the robot basically picks up the glass from the load log and puts it in the deposition chambers while going through the transfer chamber. And then you have two load logs, left and right load log. And then you can see the elevator. It has one, two, three, about, you know, 10 slots uh, per chamber. So actually 11, because it goes from one to 10. So you have 11 slots per load log. So that in theory, you can put 22 glasses, glass samples at once to process it, or rather 22 substrates at once to process it through the system. And then you have the heat chamber, uh, which can be used at our company. We didn't use it that much, but it's a ready, it's a ready uh, area where you can put the sample preheat to whatever temperature before it goes into the deposition chamber. Um, so the software runs in three modes. One is a fully manual mode, uh, where you can pretty much control every valve, every gas manually. Second is a semi-automatic mode in which you, you, you control the motion uh, manually, uh, move it from the load log to the deposition chamber manually, but all the gases and the plasma is controlled in the automatic way. And the third is a fully automatic mode in which you do just a press a button, you make recipes and sequences, and then you press run. It will load it, it will pump it down, it will put it to the, put it to the right deposition chamber, it will do the deposition and then it will bring it back. So we used to use it in all three modes depending on our use and application. systems and uh, pumps for all the deposition chambers that we saw. Uh, these over here are one, two, three, and four uh, process pumps for the four process chambers. And over there on the side, you can see two smaller pumps for the load locks as well as the transfer chambers. And then over here, you can see this is a heat exchanger which controls the temperature of the chambers because the chambers are heated to about 80 degrees C. So the heat exchanger, two pumps for the load lock and transfer chamber, and then four pumps for each of the process chambers. And uh, you walk over here, these are four RF generators, one, two, three, and four for each of the process chambers again. This is the whole mainframe power delivery system. Uh, this is where you get power for each of the components uh, from the pumps to the generators, all the power comes from here. Uh, this is again the RF generators from the front side. Um, we have, uh, uh, this is all the remotes uh, that, that need to be, that control the system basically. And this is the front view of all the pumps. Um, you know, the pumps have nitrogen dilution to dilute the gases that come out from the exhaust. Um, they have, you know, regular pumps, they have electric power, the water, nitrogen connected to them. These are Edwards pumps, uh, which are state-of-the-art, really good quality pumps. Um, and uh, they can be controlled remotely from the software or directly from here as, a, as, as desired by the, uh, uh, by the user. So that pretty much covers the entire...